A lot of people, Sandra, were asking the question, well, why not? What's the thinking behind this idea of not further punishing the Saudi kingdom for its alleged role, perhaps, in the uh, murder of Jamal Khashoggi? Well, the White House, you heard, in fact, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo say just yesterday, quote, it's a mean, nasty world out there. And so the thinking for the White House is, look, in that environment, you have to make some pretty tough choices. And in this case, it would appear they're making the choice, in fact, manifestly so, to stick with the Saudis. Let me take you to Twitter. A very interesting tweet uh, as the president begins to very subtly, or perhaps not so subtly, show his support for the Saudi kingdom. He said this, oil prices getting lower. Great, like a big tax cut for America and the world. Enjoy. $54 was just $82. Thank you to Saudi Arabia, but let's go lower. Now, the gas prices and oil movement comes amid the growing consensus that Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman may have orchestrated Khashoggi's murder. Now, that's something he denies, and the president, despite analysis from the intel community, isn't ready to cast blame. They didn't make a determination. Uh, and it's just like I said, I think it was very, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. They did not make that assessment. The CIA has looked at it. They've studied it a lot. They have nothing definitive. And the fact is, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But on Capitol Hill, there's been very strong disagreement over the administration's unwillingness to harshly criticize the Saudis. You may have read Bob Corker's tweet. He said, I never thought I'd see the day a White House would moonlight as a public relations firm for the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, as you can well imagine ruffling a bit of feathers on the hill. Sandra? To watch that developing story, Kevin, and the president has submitted these written answers now to special counsel Robert Mueller. Yeah. So where does the investigation go from here? Well, quite honestly, they just want to see this thing wrap up because they feel like there has been no proof of Russian collusion. There will be no proof of Russian collusion. That certainly seems to be the attitude by the White House. So the real question, as you point out, is where do we go from here? I have a few options I can share uh, for the folks at home. I think they'll find this somewhat instructive. Essentially, what you're looking at now is uh, what will happen? Will the Mueller team decide to ask for more information? Well, they could certainly do that after reviewing the president's answers. Uh, they could also review the answers, Sandra, and then simply prepare to disclose the report, which is what I think Think a lot of people think they will do. They could, however, compare the president's answers with other respondents. And that's where things can get a little thorny. And then ultimately, the so called nuclear option that would be to subpoena the president himself. Now, the latter, as you can imagine, could create a constitutional crisis. The White House remaining steadfast in its insistence there was never any collusion with the Russians. In fact, Rudy Giuliani issued a statement about the questions submitted to the Mueller team. He said this It has been our position from the outset that much of what has been asked raised serious constitutional issues and was beyond the scope of a legitimate inquiry. This remains our position today. Very strong words there from Rudy Giuliani, Sandra. Meanwhile, uh, and finally, Kevin, there's a report this morning that the president wanted the Justice Department to prosecute Hillary Clinton yeah. and James Comey. Yeah, uh, we've heard him sort of say this off the cuff. It's very interesting, though, to read that times piece and get a much stronger sense that, yeah, he feels like one or maybe both have broken the law, and therefore maybe the DOJ ought look into uh, that possibility. But let me do share this. Uh, the Times piece is careful to sort of elide past the observation that asking why something isn't happening or hasn't been pursued or even wanting it to happen, uh, look, that's not the same as ordering someone to do it. Still, White House counsel Don McGahn thought the threat serious enough to pen a warning detailing what might happen if it was thought that the president was using the weight of the DOJ to pursue his political enemies. And that is never a good idea in particular in this case. Uh, that said, by the way, I should tell you this. Uh, it looks like a relatively tranquil day here in South Florida. We do know the president, wouldn't you? is out on the links this morning. And as we get uh, details about that or anything else, we're here for you. But for now, back to you.